everyone. Welcome to that path to wellness. And tonight I have to say, I'm kind of excited to be honest with you because I'm getting to interview my friends, Jen Weisberg and Jeremy. Hey, you guys, <laughs> nice seeing you. Hey, Holly, thank you for having us. It's good to see you too. I miss you in Albuquerque. I know I miss, yeah. I miss being part of that, that committee. I must say I, I was with that committee for two or three years. I think I can't really remember. Yeah, uh, we and it was always so much fun. And there's so much I want to ask you guys about, about the Adon award and all that kind of stuff. So let's just kind of start off with all these celebrations you planned. You have the, the art show as usual, which is still going on the entire month of September at El Chante, is that correct? Is that how you pronounce that? It's El Chante and then there's a colon and then uh, I can't pronounce the rest, but El Chante will go with. I don't okay. know, if Jen, I don't know if you can add the rest. No, I'm, I'm not even going to take a stab at it. You got that. Okay. Well, I know it was El Chante before and it looked yeah. like it was there again this year. So I was glad to see that. Did they move though? It looked like maybe it was not in the same on that little circle on Central, or are they still there in that house? They are still there, yeah. It's El Chante okay. Casa de Cultura. That's as oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. As good as I can do, and Chewy will correct me later. That's okay. Good for good deal. Good deal. So I'm glad they're still in the same place. I was a little bit confused about that. So it is right on Central, uh, on the west side of Central, uh, of downtown, kind of by, is it Roosevelt Park? You guys, I can't remember the park. It name. is it's Robinson Park. Robinson Park, that's right. Yes, I, so it's I know right that there. Very, by, yep. I, yeah, oh, I was going to say I know that very well because we were going to have our powwow there before it went virtual. Right. Um, right. Yeah. So is the powwow going virtual? Yeah. We're doing something cool, um, and Jen and I discussed it a little bit uh, earlier today, um, and so. The plan is uh, we have an awesome film crew. Uh, we have an awesome or several incredible groups of performers and, and drummers and the whole lot uh, that I think are going to be performing at Jen's uh, treatment center in Albuquerque uh, uh, later this month. And we're gonna be posting all of the footage, maybe doing some live stuff from there, but the footage good. will be posted uh, on the 30th, which it, which was the planned date of uh, the big main event for Albuquerque right. Celebrates Recovery. Right, okay, so nice. So let's yeah. just make it clear for everybody that's listening. First off, there's the art show going on and it's people who are in recovery that are displaying their art at El Shante all of the month of September. And then at Serenity Mesa, you're gonna have the powwow <laughs> and you're gonna have it filmed. And so you can share it with us on your on your feed be sure and send it to me so i can share it with us on this page too because i know for sure i've missed the powwows and you know how the facebook has those memories you guys well yesterday one popped up and it was me and the dawn at the powwow and i'm telling you tears just streamed down my face and i was just like oh gosh you know it's that time of year again and I miss those powwows and so i'm really thrilled to hear that they're going to be taped and and put on 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 the Facebook page for people to enjoy. Cause I think, yeah, those I think it's, really it's a really good opportunity for somebody who hasn't been to a powwow before or who wasn't able to attend, you know, to watch, to see what a powwow kind of looks like and all the dancing and all the tradition and culture that goes along with it. So, right. I've learned so that, that we're working with the native American community to, to be able to still give the community something. Um, mm, I'm know, thrilled like can't do it in person. I have to say, I think that's my favorite event. It might be because of the big main event, which this year will be drive through. It's so much work on the plaza that it was just always yeah. so. It's such an undertaking. I know you guys. I don't know people that work harder than y'all do at putting that on. And so, what's it going to look like now that it's going virtual this year? The big event. I think um, I'll I'll say a little bit, and then I know Jeremy. Jeremy's got a lot of stuff planned virtually, but you know we're. We're trying to do a lot of stuff during the month of September, um, a lot of th things on Facebook. Um, you know, we still have, we were planning to, to be in person up until just a couple weeks ago. So obviously we have sponsors that we want to recognize. So we'll be doing that on our Facebook page all month long. Um, you know, we'll be celebrating people that have, that are in recovery through video. 
videos that we've recorded. Um, we've we have people sending in their videos. Oh, nice. um, and then, you know, Jeremy's been doing a lot of the Facebook live stuff, spotlighting different sponsors and spot, spotlighting different providers. Um, you know, and of course we're missing a Don this year because he passed away in May. So that's a big hole in our hearts and in our committee. So, um, I can only imagine. I can only imagine that I would be snot bubble crying at every meeting that I show up to. I think of him often and I think of how he mentored me in the recovery movement, you know, and really lit a fire under me um, to work harder to build back the system better um, after the behavioral health collapse in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'll just never forget him for that. Tell me a little bit about that award. What, what, how's that looking? Are people getting nominated and and is it going to be an annual award that is in his memory? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and yeah, thank you, Holly. Um, it, it, and I will acknowledge that uh, in the, in the few meetings uh, uh, following the loss of Adon, yeah, uh, at least two or three of them were a, a constant hour of blubbering. Um, but we're getting through it and we're, you know, this year is absolutely, it's something special because of Adon and, and we're very sad that we can't do it in person. Right. Um, but, but we have to uh, be more concerned about the safety of our attendees and people celebrating recovery with absolutely. us. Um, but we have a whole lot planned uh, virtually, as Jen said, one of those is the Don Cariago award. And that is going to, be something that happens annually. Uh, oh. we, yeah, we, we had a, we had a lot of discussion around it and deciding what it truly means. And it, it's very simple. Um, you know, when we lost it on, uh, we, it was kind of a, a, something we instantly all knew and recognized is that uh, Adon's still with us through the hundreds and thousands of people in recovery of the people whose lives were touched by it on mm -hmm. and carry that torch on. So when we're, so we do have a whole lot of nominations. Last time I checked was this morning and I think we had 21 nominations and we'd love that to grow. So anybody please go to the ACR Facebook. The number one pin post is the link to nominate somebody and just tell us about that individual, tell them what attributes they have that can really make us see that, uh, you know, they have a, a part of what Adon exuded into the community. Um, and, and, and that's what we're looking for. Right. So every year we, we will have somebody else uh, in, in honor of Adon, uh, you know, so people should go to, when you say ACR Facebook page, you mean Albuquerque Celebrates Recovery Facebook page. Oh, is that not a word? Uh, no, it's probably obvious, but I just want to make sure it's really <laughs> obvious. For people like yeah, myself about acronyms there. here, you know. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't realize the, the acronym for Albuquerque Celebrates Recovery wasn't in Webster's yet. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> yeah. my apologize. Uh, yes, it's uh, uh, it's Albuquerque Celebrates Recovery on Facebook, and the link's and there also form there to, to nominate people. Yeah, so that's going to be at the top of the page. And also, if you go to abqrecovery.com, mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be a first thing you see, it's a pop up. So you can't avoid it. You have to vote or say you don't want to vote. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> it's a like very that. easy process. And I really think, you know, we really thought long and hard about what would a Don want. And mm -hmm. I think this is the perfect thing that he would that, that he would approve of and that um, you know, because he was always really good about making sure that this event was about people in recovery. Right. And you right. Know, there's so much talk about people who have died of an overdose, people who have passed away, people who are struggling. And, you know, this is an event of celebration. And as much as we all miss a dawn, you know, I know, you know, he would want us to celebrate the life that he lived and all of those people that he helped and that he probably continues to help, even though he's no longer, you know, walking oh, for sure. with us. For sure, for sure. And there's no doubt that man touched thousands of, if not a hundred thousand lives, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. And whomever is awarded that um, that honor, oh my goodness, I I mean that's would be so. Um, I don't even I can't put the words to it. I would just be so overwhelmed, you know. And so I imagine whoever gets that award is just going to be really blown over with um, pride and joy, you know. Yeah. 
And, so, and that's a thing we're going to have to vote on as a committee. And I, we have not discussed I, how we're going to manage to vote on that. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm going to miss that meeting, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> I, might, I might also. Uh, I, I, I do want to add one thing before we, we go um, move past uh, the subject of our friend Adon. Um, the, our, when we're talking, I, I was just on the phone before we got on here with uh, his, the person that probably knew Adon more than most of us, uh, Chewy Martinez, who's helping us with the powwow and everything else. Um, and, and we, we just had a great heart to heart about the importance of, especially the powwow and, and how we're, we're doing this virtually this year, that this is about education because year after year, Adon w would, uh, remind us that this is not just about celebration. It's also about education and Albuquerque, uh, you know, you assume is going to be more modern, less tr traditional with their celebrations. This year, we really want to push on uh, the teachings of the traditions in New Mexico and traditional recovery um, and the traditional arts that uh, Adon was a dang celebrity of. So, uh -huh. yeah, I just want to add that. And that's so much of the importance of the powwow and all of the events that we're, that we're holding virtually. Thank you. So what will the event look like, the virtual event? Describe that to me. We'll find out. Uh, <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> We're kind of winging it. Yeah. No, that's okay. You know, everybody's winging it, though, all yeah. around the state. Some people were able to get their, uh, their event off. Um, yeah. in public. And then a lot of people have gone, you know, uh, virtual, but everybody's winging it. And just like um, when I sat on the Recovery Communities of New Mexico um, committee planning these a couple of years ago, you just learn from each year. Y'all know, you learn from every year. Oh, remember what we did last year? That was so horrific. Let's not do that again. You know, you learn. And so even, and I think people are going to learn virtually too. They're yeah. just going to take you know, last year. Last year we planned it virtually from the beginning. And so uh -huh. this year we planned it in person from the beginning and we had to shift, you know, basically 30 days out. Oh, that's so it's really tough. hard because we're trying to figure out, okay, what does this look like? What does that look like? And, um, you know, it's, it's been harder. So I, I think on the 30th, we probably won't, we're not going to have like an actual event like we did last year that actually happened on one day. Okay. We'll, have, we'll, we'll have a lot of different things going on, but it's not going to be something like, where you're going to log into a, you know, a zoom or a Facebook live and have a lot of things going on on that one day, we're going to spread it out throughout the month and have a lot of different things. The other thing we're doing is you can view um, the film, the anonymous people, which mm -hmm. is a great story, a great documentary on, on people in recovery. It's, it's fantastic. If you haven't seen it, go to our website, you can watch it. Um, and it's, it's a, it's a wonderfully made documentary. So we're, we're really trying, like like Jeremy said, to educate people, to provide prevention, to provide resources. We're trying to do all of those things that we would normally do on the plaza virtually. Mm -hmm. And the powwow, you know, if, if we can pull this off and do this virtual powwow, I think that is just going to be absolutely amazing. And it's we already have it's Sunday Mesa, so it's not going to be open to the public where people can come and watch the dancers, but... You know, it's a beautiful. Um, I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be watching from the comfort yeah. of my living room. Trust yeah. me. And then and yeah. exactly. And then you can watch all the dancers and, and, right. you know, we pay. And then to just to bring in that cultural and aspect that Adon loved so much, you know, because the powwow was, was his baby. I mean, he loved that. I know. So I think it's great that we can continue it. And we have his, you know, you know his two friends, Leonard and, and Chewy helping Still us. You guys. Oh gosh, Leonard and Chewy. Yes, I remember them both. Yep, Leonard and Chewy. <laughs> so let's give a shout out to some of your major sponsors. Who 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 has uh, who has backed you again this year that you'd like to mention? Oh, well, goodness. Mr. House. I'd like to call it Mr. Mr. House. Which is oh, awesome. look at that! She gets that right in, Jeremy. Yes, Mr. Mr. They've Tau. not only lent us Jeremy, which is awesome. You know, he works for Mr. Tau, so obviously he's he's on the clock with them when he's at our meetings. So I appreciate that, and then they are one of our biggest sponsors. Great. Um, and Blue Cross Blue Shield is another one of our sponsors this year. Um, Messiah Valley is a sponsor. Uh, Duke yep. City Recovery is a sponsor. Good. Um, turning point. Turning point. Yeah. Sponsor. Nice. nice. Uh, so a lot of the same folks. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the same folks. And like I said, we were going to go in person this year. So it's, it's a bummer that we had to switch it to virtual. Guys, I, I still think that your events that you plan 
are well planned and this is you know what year now i this mean our I was, sixth year six i was gonna say i know at least there's been four so uh this your sixth year it gets better with every year even though it's going to be virtual this year i think that's actually going to be better for the powwow for me personally anyway you know to be able to attend because i'm way up here in las vegas so i'll be able to get to see that so i'm happy about that because that's one thing i do really miss is uh, those powwows i really yeah they were so much fun yeah, I really love that. So and we're gonna post all of our sponsors on our Facebook page and on our website. Okay. So if I was you're just not following us on Facebook, go to our Facebook page, Albuquerque Celebrates Recovery, click like, and yep. you'll get all the updates. Um, and you'll get and you'll get the notifications when Jeremy goes live, and so you can yep. hassle him like I do. When I see that, I try. If I'm not too busy, I try to jump over there and and uh, give him a little nudge of heckle for just yep. the fun of it. Which is so unfair. I, for, first off, because when I use this platform, I have all the technical difficulties in the world. <laughs> you don't seem to have ever had one. No. Uh, I, I've, I had them. I've, I've had them. I've had them. I've had okay. some. Trust we, me. I, Nate, and I, I think uh, we can just throw out there Nate Lawson is to blame. He is the person <laughs> that discovered this platform for both of us That's right let's it's hang Nate moment. out there it's yeah. been pretty good for me uh but it you know at times it can be challenging for sure okay so if you want to stay cool with the cool kids you got to like the albuquerque celebrates recovery facebook page and you better like the opry page as well to stay informed of all the events going on around all the state because uh, there will be several events happening online that people can tap into for fun and um, I think that's about it. Do you guys have anything else? I, I can't think of anything else. Do you need any volunteers? Or you said you got the good film crew already? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we have a, a great group. Um, two, two things I, I'd love to encourage any watchers uh, to do is number one, if you can get to El Chante and see the art from incredible yes. artists that are in recovery, get there even better. If you want to buy some art, there's also plenty of amazing art for sale from people in recovery and if you notice anything from uh the past pandemic t year i everything before that is opaque uh to me those artists uh could, could use uh some sales uh sure. the number the number two thing is uh something really special about going virtual is we get to hear people more we get to hear stories uh if you have a, a testimonial of, of your recovery story or a loved one's recovery story, uh, send us a message again, Albuquerque Celebrates Recovery on Facebook, and we'd love to be able to post and share that uh, share that message of hope. No, I, I agree. That, that Those are always kind of fun to do. I've gotten better at them over the years. In the beginning, I was really terrible when they were like, you know, ready for your close up. And I was like, ah. but I'm getting a little bit better, a little bit yeah. better. Well, we're so used to being on Zoom these days. Right, right. I think that's helped. I think that's why yeah. it's helped, actually, for sure. Okay, you guys, well, good night. Thank you so much for all the hard work you're doing. I can't wait to see who wins the Adon Award, the first annual Adon Award. I know I'm going to be blubbering up here, whoever it is. So, um, you guys, I hope to see you soon. I hope to come down to Albuquerque and see you guys. But, Jen, I'm going to be watching those. Uh, uh, virtual um, powwows. Yeah. I was going to say hula dancers or whatever. I, <laughs> I I like the hula dancers and I like the chicken dancers. Those are my favorite. The one, the hoop. I guess they call them hoop dancers, not hula. Hoop, we'll go with that. hoop dancers. <laughs> hoop dancers. Yeah. Yep. yeah, that's it. Not hula dancers. Too funny. Okay. Well, you guys, thanks so much for everything, and I appreciate y'all being here tonight. Good Thank night. you, Holly. It's good uh -huh. to see you. Bye, Jeremy. Bye.